Hey, welcome back. Margins. Margins are the space around an element. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to create two boxes. I'll use a div element and give this div element an ID of box one. And let's do the same thing for box two, but change one to two. And within each box, we will generate some random content. So type lorem and then tab to generate some sample text and do the same thing for box two. Okay, that's everything we'll need within our HTML document. Within our CSS document, let's style both of our boxes. So let's begin with box one, and we'll just copy everything over to box two. So I would like a border of five pixels solid, a width of 250, a height of 250. Let's change the font size to 22 pixels and change the background. Pick a background color that you like. Okay, let's copy this and paste it for box two. So change box one to box two, and I would recommend picking a different color. Okay, we have box one and box two. Margins are the space around an element. You can see that we naturally have a little bit of margin between these boxes. The body element of our document has about eight pixels worth of margin. And let's take a look at that. So I'm going to style our body and add a border, maybe two pixel solid. This is the boundary of our body, wherever this border is. So we have eight pixels of margin outside of our border. We can actually get rid of that so that these boxes are touching the sides of the viewport by setting margin within our body to zero pixels. And these boxes are now touching the sides of our viewport. So margin is the space around an element but margin is easily confused with padding. Padding is the space between the content and the border. For example, I'll add 10 pixels worth of padding to box one. This space between the content and the border is padding. And I'll just casually increase the padding just so it's more visible. This space between the content and the border is padding. It's easily confused with margin. Now margin is the space outside of a border we can select margin top, bottom, left, right. Let's begin with top. Margin top. I'll set this to 50 pixels. So we're saying at the top of this element, add 50 pixels worth of margin. This element along with any elements underneath it will be pushed down by 50 pixels. Likewise, I can apply this to the left and this will push this element 50 pixels to the left. Same thing goes with the bottom. Any elements underneath this margin will be pushed by this amount. And there's also margin right, but there's nothing to the right of this element because it is a block level element. If I need to apply some amount of margin all around an element, I can just say margin, then that amount, 50. And then we don't need four separate lines. This would do the same thing in one line. You can use percentages instead of pixels so that way when you resize this window, it resizes dynamically. So if I were to set margin left to 50%, this margin will use up as much space as 50% of the width of our window. Okay, one trick if you need this element to stick to the right hand side of your window, you can set margin to auto and the margin on the left hand side will be automatically calculated so it's going to push this element to the right. This will all be margin. And likewise, you can do the same thing with margin right. Then this element will stick to the left hand side because the margin on the right is taking up all the space on the right side of this element. Here's a trick. If you set both margin left and margin right to auto, then this element will stay horizontally centered in the middle of your document. So yeah, that's a little bit about margins. And if you ever forget how margins work, if you right click on an element, then go to inspect, there will be a diagram right here. So it shows that our content is 250 by 250, any padding if there is any, the width of the border, and the width of the margin. And here are the values. So yeah, that's a little bit about margins. It is the space around an element. So yeah, those are margins. If you found this video helpful, you can help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.